Hello, probable victory tubers, and welcome back to Let's Play Valkyria Chronicles with me, Blue Ink. So, for our third attempt, I decided to just play this mission off camera because I didn't want to just never endingly upload the same uh, mission over and over again. It's actually been over a week since I've played, although I saved the end of this mission, so apparently I knew what I was doing. I can't exactly explain how I did it because I forgot. Um, I think I used Idle Vice again to block these. Infinite spawning six out. I think I used Largo uh, to sneak behind the tank on the first turn before he shoot, and then he got killed by the spawns. And then I tried to use Carl to resurrect him, then he got killed by the infinite spawns. So it's not good. Basically, what I ended up doing was rushing as much as I could. I left someone to defend against scouts stealing the base. I would have left people inside the base, but it's always on fire. So you can't leave people in there. Uh, so you basically need to try to block somewhere between your base and the infinite spawning scouts down here. You need someone to try to shoot them. That's hopefully out of range of the snipers that need to spawn over here. Every turn they're going to be the sniper up to this high ground. And they'll take a shot. So you basically need to be in cover and hopefully out of vision of the sniper. Although... The main thing, of course, was just to run uh, a second Lancer with a little bit of support here. Just about a fair number of people for reloading. And, and for, for, yeah, for, I've got an engineer to reload the, the Lances, and then a couple of scouts to deal with most of the uh, units to fight the military. Anyway, I'm pretty sure we're one action away from winning. For I'll minute. do my very best. So let's finish this off and see what happens. Alright, yeah. I'm pretty sure I was ready to, to win. Alright. <laughs> now let's please tell me this is the end of the mission. Alright. So um if you're playing along, I don't even know what to suggest for this map. It's horrible. Operation complete. Both enemy tanks neutralized. Yeah, you sound so happy, Wilk, and you don't know how bad it was. You really gotta rush, basically. And I only get a B rank, yeah, whatever. I did that as fast as I possibly could. I think I captured the base on the second turn. So I like saved up a couple command points so that on the first turn the tank showed up, I could kill one of them. And then I start deploying people at the base and running them around as quick as I could. That, that's a horrible mission. I mean, we got tons of rewards, which is nice, but ugh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I must have killed the ace. Who was the ace? Oh yeah, there was that one scout right at the beginning. And apparently we get a medal, sure. More importantly, I'm hoping Alicia's okay. Because I've been worried about her. The watershed battle on the Nagyar Plains ended in the victory of the Galian forces. Barely. It made military history not only with its ferocity, but with the duel that ended it. What duel? The Imperial Army then fell to retreat, while Galia's grasp on victory tightened. I guess they were talking about the Alicia versus uh, Silveria thing. Like I said, it's been a while. I forgot what happened. I should have rewatched the video. Alicia, are you all right? Woken. Eh, it's just a flesh wound, right? I'm. What happened? I can't remember. What did. I was shot, wasn't I? But here I am, alive and fully healed. Tell me about your parents. And it's like... Everyone looks at me differently now. Like they're scared. Not me. I'm proud of you. Welkin, did... Has something happened to me? Tell me, please! Well, you turned into an unstoppable old doomsday weapon. Nothing to worry about. Alicia... <laughs> I could see why that might be a, a bit difficult for her to swallow, but... Okay! Chapter complete! Uh-oh. Report. Parting ways. Oh yeah, I do have a couple reports to deal with. So... That's fine. I, uh, I do need a break from the, uh, the main, um, campaign. That last mission really took a lot out of me, so... A couple chances to do some upgrading and stuff. I think... I don't think we've done War Without Weapons. I really wanted to see what happened with Alicia, so I didn't do that. And then we'll have another report 
and uh, you never know what we'll find in um, in headquarters. So, oh wait, the save. Did I save it? Let's make sure I've saved it on command. Let's go uh, look around town. To see what's up. We should get some medals and some good stuff. Maybe a new order. You know. We got tons of money, so I'm looking for all kinds of good, all kinds of goodies. Lieutenant Welkin Gunther, step forward. The honorary medal of murdering everybody. In honor of your manifold accomplishments, you are hereby awarded this honor. Sounds like an actual medal this time, as opposed to. Highness, a it's an honor. Yeah, Meg, you're. They're like just making medals up now. All right. Furthermore. For your squad's exemplary oh, performance in the well. final battle, this royal award. Oh, happy day! A new medal. Thank you, and Your new Highness. Weapons. Thank you, Your Highness. Kind of lance. M three I think we already had one of those before, but now we got three. May your allegiance to Gaudia stand. That's all we get. Well, that last battle was. You fundamentally needed the uh, lancers to take out those. Uh, Super tanks. I guess our tanks might have worked, but with two command points per move and per shot, it'd be really difficult. Uh, yeah, we'll go to the uh, old man in the cemetery who just seems to live here. <laughs> He's always here. Surprise! Hello again, son. I'll teach you heal all today. That sounds useful. Use it to request a full medical team to heal all wounded allied units. Good. Why didn't you teach me this earlier? Well, what is your decision? Fact, why didn't they teach us this stuff in university, like in officer training? <laughs> this is the kind of stuff that would be very good. You just radio in some medics to save them. I hope my orders can assist you in saving the nation. And besides, how hard is it to learn that? Call up on the radio. I need some medics here right now. I hope we'll meet again. Should you wish, you can likely find me here. He's a con artist, guys. He's like, oh yeah, by the way, you can call for medical help. Yeah, well, we should have known that already. What's going on in this this country? Hey! Yeah, yeah, I don't even want to hear you. Oh, and how... Yeah, yeah, yeah. I couldn't help but snipe him. Yeah. I still don't really like her that much. No new, uh... No new... Newspaper reports. Maybe we have to finish this other report before we can see the uh, the update on uh, Nagyar, I guess. Because that was the end of the first chapter of Nagyar, but not, um, well, after finishing up their forces like we did. So! Okay, that's fine. Maybe we're like, back in between chapters right now, kinda. Uh, in between plot points. I don't know what's going on. Let me just buy some new guns and I'll be happy. Welkin, bro! Yeah, hey, bro. So he's in charge of upgrades now, I guess. Seeing as the other guy is our tank pilot. Still misses Sara. Alright, we do get new rifles. Plus two damage. Sure. I mean... It's possible that if we've been upgrading the firepower weapons... By now, they'd be doing like 50 damage per shot, even with A of C. I don't know. I am aware that I don't use the defense debuff very often, <laughs> but I do like engineers having a slightly different weapon. I think it's appropriate. Because engineers don't get very good aim anyway. That's my story, I'm sticking to it. No new machine guns unless we want to attack down or bullets up. And I think I did decide that I need the uh, bullet damage. Because we're just doing one damage too often with the other weapons. Even though they shoot more bullets, enemy defense is too high to stick with 22 damage. I mean, 30 shots, that sounds pretty good. But, you know, 30 shots of one damage, or 20 shots of hopefully at least 5 damage, let's say, would be a lot better. Hey, okay, another 100 damage to tanks per Lancer. Now, I do still think that against most tanks, Lancers are a little bit antiquated. In the last battle, we had to use 
rockets basically to damage these things. But a normal light or medium tank, if you put a scout or a shock trooper with a damage boost on uh, on the radiator shot, they can take it out pretty effectively. But uh, obviously there's special tanks. No new sniper rifles. An upgrade to flamethrower, you might as well buy it. I'm still not super All set for happy with them, but they do clear those uh, bunkers up pretty well, so, you know, they're not useless. We've only got one grenade upgrade left, apparently. One defense, good, good. Not that this protects you from, like, anti-armor oh. tank shells or Valkyria beams, but uh, the main thing is to kill us. But, uh, yeah, you might as well buy this stuff, right? Alright, weapons done. Let's check out our idle guys. I also re recognize that I'm not using the tank a whole lot these days, but. Turn damage, extra shot, that's good. I have no idea if late game the, the Edelweiss sort of balances out so that it's actually pretty good against enemy tanks or not. It seems like the enemy tanks are getting strong as quickly as our Edelweiss is getting strong, so it's just kind of even, right? Oh, another... Okay, well this is plus two mortar ammo for a two by three. Plus one for a one by two is still better, but I'll uh, I think the accuracy buff is still the best for our idle vice. If if our like we currently have idle vice two for slots, if it goes up to idle vice three and we get another row or column of uh, slots, maybe I'll consider something like that. Maybe. All right, and then the shamrock, the tank that we almost never use. We'll just upgrade stuff. Why not, right? I'll you got money, you might as well spend it. Yeah, that's not bad. At least one extra magazine. Like I think having Here you go, bro. two All done. is considerably better than having one. Uh, or I guess like the difference the changing between one to two mortars is gonna be far more valuable than changing from two to three, is what I'm trying to get across. Because you, you reload one per turn automatically, and you're probably not going to shoot a mortar every turn. It's just, if you need a turn to shoot two mortars, you kind of have them stocked up. Ah, you know what, right? I guess. Come back and good. On the other hand, how often am I even going to use a shamrock? So, whatever. <laughs> so, we got about 74,000 XPs. Should be in the couple levels up. Train on! Um. I, uh, I can't remember... Looks like we got three potentials for everybody, I think? Yeah, it looks like it. So... It's just a matter of upgrading sort of whoever I want for stats. Um, I think I looked it up. I believe level 20 is the max. So... I think troopers and scouts are my most valuable soldiers right now. Kind of in the order of, like, tied for first. And then snipers are are next. Engineers are useful, but they don't need a lot of upgrades. Like they don't need more aim or HP that badly because they're not frontliners. And lancers are of well, it's hard to say they're super useful anymore. Like I said, there's ways of taking out tanks without lancers. Fight them! Then it's pretty effective. Now we've got. Lots of A little bit of stats. That's fine. No new potentials or, or orders or anything, but that's okay. Just check for new soldiers. You never know, right? Hello, Will. Looks like nobody knew. Okay, I'm not going to change our uh, roster. We do have uh, a new weapon to have a quick look at. I believe it's the scout rifle. Just to see if it's better than what we've been getting. Alicia, I wonder... Oh, they've switched my scouts over to the defense weapon again. Dang it. Go back to the accuracy weapon. Shouldn't upgrade them from... Like, if they had the S10 before, and I buy the S, the X11, they should stick with the S's. But, uh, whatever. So, did we get a new it's, it's interesting that Alicia is still considered a scout here. I don't know if that's going to stay the same or not. Um, let's see... Maybe we, maybe we didn't get a, a scout rifle? 
It looks like we've got a, a new... Maybe... I thought the, uh, the the named soldier we killed was a scout. It must have been a shock trooper. Because we got uh, a new... ZM... MP. We got another machine gun, basically. Um... We currently have... Options between 200 range, 30 damage... 200 range, 31 damage... Or 120 range, 40 damage. That's pretty awesome. Do I make Rosie, like, a super close combat, uh, trooper? I'll give it a try. And then I'll switch the other ones to, uh, to M3, which is definitely better than the M20. Or at least I'll switch to the three of them. We got quite a few, I guess. Who's most likely? I like James. Let's give Jane another one of these. Basically, no downgrade switching to the M3R. So we've got a couple... We've got three shock troopers that are a little bit better than the others. I mean... <laughs> plus one damage. Rosie is considerably better at, at short range. Everybody else is about the same, really. Alright, and then we had more M3Rs, which are... More accurate, but slightly less damaging than the Thymer M10s. I don't know. I think pure damage is probably more valuable than the accuracy for a Lancer. Because they should just run up close. And 150 damage... I think that's enough to, to say I'd rather have that, honestly. So we'll stick with the max damage per shot and then risk a little bit lower aim. And we've got these amazing GSR 20s. Sounds dumb. Why would you ever give a sniper a like low range weapon? Like, I mean, 450, 700 range, it isn't super short, but you have to put your sniper closer. It does do like 50% more damage, but why wouldn't you just take great aim at long range? Also, keep in mind a D rank aim um, even if you get close, it's going to have a really wide reticule, kind of like a Lancer. So you have to be even closer than 700 to have a chance at hitting something in the head. I think the I think these GSRs are just way better. Okay. That's our equipment section of today's video. So what's next? Um, we've got a couple different reports. Do we have any skirmishes to look at? Um... No skirmishes. The last skirmish with Marbury, we did that already. I, I should do these one of these days. Maybe later. Let's go... Well, let's save it again just in case it crashes. It has crashed on me once or twice. Um, let's go to the War Without Weapons report. I don't, yeah. Report. War Without Weapons. So I'm expecting this to be kind of like Largo's special veggie mission one, except for Rosie. So it should be fun, right? Let's learn about Rosie a little bit more. The battle at Nagiar is almost upon us. Is there anything left to do beforehand? We already did that, silly Captain Barrett. No, Captain. We've made due preparations. I guess plot-wise, I was supposed to do this before Nagiar. I just was too in a rush to see what happened with the Valkyries. This will likely be the largest conflict you or I have seen. I want you rested and ready. Oh, by the way, did the Darksons who survived back in Fausen make it out all right? They should have. I told them all to evacuate to Rangris as soon as they could. Speaking of the Darkson, I hear the Empire's begun another wave of hunts. Mm. Oh. Darkson hunting? This is going to be a little bit awkward with Alicia. It's like history. Rather than like. Well, I guess that's one way to get back the labor force they lost at Fausen. The report I read mentioned an enemy unit hunting Darksons by the border. It's not very I'm nice. sending a squad to take care of it now. You all have earned a rest, though. Go catch up on your sleep and relax a while. You're dismissed. Captain Verat, would you let us do it? What? Please? Rosie! I'll second that. 
If we may, Captain. <sighs> All right. I'll place Squad 7 in charge of this operation. So this is after Isara's death, so Rosie is feeling, you know, guilty and bad. The village in question has a large Darkson population. It's been raided time and again. Secure the village and its people's safety, and stop those hunters. Okay. Yes, Captain. We'll leave as soon as we can. Rescue mission. We'll leave as soon as we can, and you can just skip this and go on to Nagyar and never do it. <laughs> Luckily, you don't miss out on this side quest, basically. Here is your mission brief. Small map. We've got a fix on the location of an Imperial squad responsible for the Dark Sun Hunts. Okay. Take up position. Oh, are we gonna ambush them? Love a good ambush. Once you see them, pounce! Wipe out the entire squad. Sweet! You must kill every single one of them, essentially. Oh. Okay, we, I guess that means they're going to try to run away. Huh. Okay. Do not let anyone escape. So kill scouts first, basically. So we get a large, uh, large deployment. Um, Vulcan, Zaka, Alicia, who's a scout today. Um, Rosie, you know, Largo. Okay, we've got all of our officers down. We're going to want at least one... Um, engineer. We don't have any, like, uh, loving the outdoors engineers right now. What's a headlit deer? That sounds bad. I'm gonna have to check out Carl once we get back to, uh, the base. I don't even know if unlucky. I seem to get engineers that have absolutely horrible, uh, personal potentials. Um,. Shut in, unlucky. Oh, man. Well, I'll put Carl down for now. We'll see how he does. I'm gonna have at least one engineer. And, uh, we'll put down another scout. We don't have S11 like I wanted. Um, country bread. I think we are definitely outside, so. Yeah, we'll let Notch here, no here, whoever the heck it is. And then we'll want. At least one more shock trooper. I think I gave Jane the slightly better weapon, yeah. And she's got Child of Nature in here. She's got some pretty good stuff, so we'll bring her. We'll bring a sniper. I don't know if we'll have any way to use them, but I don't think there's any other bases to capture. And Oscar's good in the meadows. And then I'll bring a second uh, engineer after all. I don't think I'm going to need a lot of Lancers. I might. I'm thinking there's going to be, like, mines and stuff, so I want to have another, um, engineer available. I have no idea. How am I supposed to know before we start? If there are no questions, let's get started. I wish you good luck and happy hunting. Thanks, Farron. The Darkson hunts end here and now! Squad 7, move out! They hunt the Darkson, we hunt the Hunters. Okay, well, they've got a sniper. Looks like they, uh, this is not so much of an ambush. Awful lot of spots to hide around here. Good thing I brought a couple scouts. Yeah, especially around those rocks. I can see a lot of unexpected run-ins happening. Yay. Huh, better believe they'll be running. I'm a damn shock trooper. <laughs> You tell them, Rosie. All right, let's begin the mission. Take out every last one of them. You got it, Captain. How come I only get nine command points? I got all of my officers, I got two tanks. All right, but also they do have a tank up here, medium tank. I think first priority is get rid of this guy. He's not, he is crawling. So you want to hit him with like a grenade or something to stand him up. This guy's got, I believe, high ground. They'll probably send like a scout into the bushes, they'll probably find something, and they can probably kill that guy so he can line of sight and stuff. Let's uh... I could start with a tank and mortar him. But what I want to do is... We're gonna send Jane? She's got a Get ready to die, okay. imps!
Gotta get close enough. Galleon unit sighted. Yeah, bullet wise because he's crawling. Oh! Ha ha! So we finally upgraded our flamethrowers enough. Die, die, die! Okay, flamethrowers are suddenly good. Good work. Keep it up. All right, switch to the map. Stand up. The front line Found one. Enemy contact. Found Support them. A sniper. Good. Leave that one to me. Fresh meat found. Okay, hold on. You couldn't get into the grass, so we'll have to spend another action with her. That's fine. Well, if that flamethrower can keep killing people easily, that's gonna be great. So how are we gonna kill the sniper that's crawling? The more flamethrowers, basically. You know what, get Jay, ready to die, imps. I, that might have just wrecked her chances of one shot this guy. Yeah. Dang it! I should have just tapped attack instantly. You think bullets will stop me? him with a grenade and let someone else kill him. That attack down is brutal. Ugh. Hopefully this doesn't hit herself. I've never hit myself with a grenade before. But there's always time for a first. Right, he's standing up. Let's try to crawl a little bit out of the way. Well, Jane, you could have one-shot him with your flame door. Alright, um, so, lots of people would be able to kill this guy in one action. The sniper only has 147 HP, so we can probably kill him with a grenade. Uh, you know, in fact, a, an engineer might be the right. solution for that. told me I believe that engineers can throw their grenades a little bit farther and maybe they do a little bit more damage with them, I'm not sure. Look, anyway, this is uh, Sniper, now. because he's got low HP, this should do it for sure. Grenades seem to work really good on snipers. The world's better off with those oily dark hairs dead and gone, you idiots. Too bad. Get in our way, and we'll be all too happy to send you to your next life. Look, two of you guys are already dead. I'm on a Apparently roll. didn't like that much anyway. Ready to mortars. Alright, there's a Lancer on that hill there. Uh, we're just gonna leave Claudia here, I think. Sure, you her action. Let's see, we've got six points left. I do want to send someone over towards that sniper. Like Moving Asia, out! And maybe she'll find somebody hiding out. So keep an eye out for mines. And there's rocks. Rocks are not exactly. You never know where they're hiding. Enemy sighted! Unit spotted. Think you can stop me? Now that I'm already shooting, it's a bit late for that. So there is the tank. There is a trooper elite next to us. Medic! Medic! Can't quite see the, the sniper. Please focus on making the sniper that's up there? Is he just too far back? Well... Ready to mortars! Switch to grenades here. Can I throw it far enough? Yeah. Now. We'll stick with the guaranteed toss. To kill him. But I believe Alicia will be safe here. Although I might give her another action anyway. That attack down is really annoying. Alright, so we need somebody to kill a trooper elite that's standing out in the open. If Rosie could make it that far, she could easily kill him. Or we could send another scout. I think I'd like to send one scout after this guy though. Yeah, let's let's keep it. Let's do this thing. We'll, we'll split them up sort of fairly. Actually, you know, our sniper could probably kill. Lines, return the fire! Is, uh, Rosie, not her I'm on. Here I come. Good work, Rosie. More than enough. 
sounded like she got three criticals. Like, the guy was already dead, she critical hit him again. Who are these guys? Right. Join Alicia here. How many points do I have left? Three points. So, I would like, if possible, on a move now. for Oscar to counter snipe here. How's your aim, buddy? Actually, this is a pretty good shot. Come on, hit! Yeah, that's not bad. Oh, those A rank sniper weapons. And another one. Sure, that doesn't hurt. Yes! So you got that guy. Target silent. You should be able to get Head the next one. Then, too. Um. Be a little bit closer. The well, idea being, I want him to take the shot on his next action and then make it to the grass so he can hide. Yeah, that's fine. And then the final action will be our other scout killing this shock trooper, I think. That's all we're gonna have. On the move now. Still not bad. I think a pretty good first turn. I won't miss. I Super can't. Super accuracy. Uh, it's like a little pinpoint. It's like a laser beam. I, uh, I, I think you could basically shoot this guy in the eye at this point if you wanted to. Stupid Imperials! I'm so glad you got they super accuracy. They could be hiding anywhere. Please be careful. Well, that sucks. I guess... I, I have never seen them get the evasion from a sniper before. I've seen them do that from up close. It seems a bit silly that somehow this guy that probably can't even... Well, I guess you can probably see that far. I was just thinking like... Ready for action. Somebody out of his range of view was able to... Uh, was able to duck, basically, around. I'm thinking of trying to come Don't forget behind to this guy so that I can get the back attack. Prepare to Found fire an enemy. Uh, it's less good. Found another trooper, but I didn't want to find. Enemy sighted. Get ready. If you feel disoriented, you what I wanted to do was sneak up on this guy so that I could get behind him without losing the, uh, without getting shot and getting the attack down, or nearly dying, of course. Ah. <sighs> Luckily, we got five out of five, so that was good. Why risk your hide for some dark hair? It's not even about the dark hairs. It's just There's those who rule and those who obey. That's the way this world was made to be. Look, I understand you guys are jerks. Did you see that? Yes, not you did good. Okay, well that turn, I mean, I did as good as I could. There's two shock troopers, at least. Three shock troopers we didn't kill, plus that last one. Hopefully they don't start running away. They've got at least two tanks, apparently. But I don't think we're in any huge danger from the tanks right now. It might be possible to get someone behind one of these guys. Under light fire! Yeah, yeah, Shamrock. I'd be a lot happier if this Lancer was dead, though. Stupid drop down beach of garbage. Everything's garbage. Arr. Okay, so the AI is still kind of dumb. They didn't do very much. Okay, so goals for this episode or, or this bat, this turn. Um, kill this guy. Kill those two. Maybe try to kill the tank? We no longer have the weapons down. It's possible I could damage buff Jane and have her kill the radiator. I don't know if we have a line of sight from here on it. Alright, let's start by uh, trying to kill this guy with the flame. Let's behind. do this thing! I do like the flamethrowers right now. Enemy sighted! So we're trying to be sneaky. We don't know how many they are. Enough. He hasn't seen you yet. Bam. Here I come. So this is actually really good. Instead of taking a grenade to uh, an action to, to grenade them and then huh. an action to kill them, you can kill them in that makes uh, things a bit easier. just one shot with uh, the flame sword. As long as you don't get the attack down the radio, it's really good. Right. So that one worked perfect. Um, now this guy is looking. 
at the direction it would come from. Now, the best option here may actually be to use the idle vice to drive up and mortar both of them. For two command points. Yeah, let's do that. Here we go! It might not kill them, it might kill them. I don't know. Enemy sighted! Please focus awesome. on making careful decisions. Ready to order! You know, the other thing is, our tank has got pretty good aim. We can theoretically just kill that tank with our tank. Better angle here, maybe. Looks like we can shoot over the rock without any problem. I don't know, is that worth the shot? Probably kill that guy with the mortar. Yes! <laughs> Alright, I feel like that was the best decision. Good. That makes things a bit easier. Destroying the enemy tank in one shot, always a good guy. Good we didn't have to use any orders. I mean, it did cost us two command points, but that's still not that big a deal. Alright, so. These guys are on opposite sides of the rock. Um, we still have a Lancer up there. How do we deal with these guys? Now, theoretically, again, Nochi could, with a couple orders, kill the tank from behind. You know what? I think I can get Rosie in here before these guys can shoot her. Especially if she could kill that one, and then we could have Jane come around and, and get this guy from behind. Let's do this thing. Seems like you get infinite flamethrowers, right? We got him. Like we're Here I come. So much for that guy. All right, this is definitely the flamethrower episode. I'm Man down, everybody, be careful. Okay, how many command points do we have? Five. I mean, I could also try to have Jane just kill that. You know, I should just kill the shock troopers for now. This guy is an officer shock trooper as well. So just try to stop guys. me. I I was thinking of going for the enemy tank, but uh, we'll wait for that. Burn! 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 Very nice, Jane. Yeah, who are these guys? They just won't go down! That's because we're invincible. We've got no choice. Pull out. Uh-oh. Everybody get out the best you can. So killing this guy has triggered the retreat order. You know where to meet up afterwards. Once we all get there, the hunt's on. <sighs> so killing this guy at the end of our turn Smug was a problem. Smug bastards. They're making plans for their next hunt before they're even out of this. Sevens, we're hunting these cowards right back. Don't let a single one of them go. Uh, next. so uh, I'm getting the feeling that the meta here would have been to not kill that guy. Dang it. I keep doing this where I, I advance the plot uh, before I can uh, like control everything. All right, so Shamrock can see the lantern from there. I'll do Possibly my best. You're gonna get another chance. You didn't get super accuracy. You can still nearly shoot him in the visor. There you go, Oscar. That's what I need. And another one. He's getting a lot of extra shots here too. Yes. Nice work! Keep taking them down! Alright, I'm just gonna run them back as far as I can. Nobody Stop. can save from here right now. It should be safe. Safe enough. Alright, three command points. It's technically possible for me to use a damage boost to have Nochi kill the uh, tank, but I don't trust it. What I want to do is send uh, Alicia up to here, maybe? And maybe Nochi actually runs up to this grass, because I don't know how many more enemies are left if they... The thing is, we're going to lose a lot of escapes, basically. And I don't know if I have any time left. 
Can't beat the smell of fresh soil. Nice try, bro. Stop! Go around! This way's no good! So we're gonna hit him with a grenade. And there's no way to kill him while he's in the ground. I no. doubt this will kill him, but you never know. So we're gonna have to use one more action with Alicia to finish it. Assuming I'm quick enough, he won't get a shot. I don't know. She's probably gonna get the damage debuff, but uh. My turn, okay? It's kind of facing that way, so if I come from this angle, I get an extra second. I had no seconds. Luckily, it only takes three hits anyway. You basically have to sneak up on the fucking hmm. line if you want to avoid the debuff. I'm guess. impressed, but not surprised. Else Enemy unit there? spotted! Yeah, another I'm a weapon. What? No, a shield. Never seen this before. What did that do? Front lines, return fire. It doesn't even fire. matter because she can't shoot. I can't. <laughs> That's dumb. I get this Valkyria buff when I can't even use it. All right, well she's not gonna be able to one shot that guy because she's gonna flame throw her. So she... I am gonna send. One action, I mean, there's really nothing I can do. Nachi might be able to make it up to here, but then she or he, she might. Uh, there's only about half HP, so if there is anyone hidden there, she can die really instantly. We just gotta end the turn and hope that they don't run away before we have a chance to kill them, basically. Forward. That actually makes it easier for me to get a lancer behind them or something. They'll probably shoot the idle dice, which is not good. Under minor fire. Definitely doing you know more damage than they used to do. I can also just drive the idle dice behind him and shoot him one hit. So if this guy gets away, is it like game over? Because what am I supposed to do? <laughs> Almost home for. Hey, one of those Imperials is getting away. Hurry up and catch him! Yeah, but how could I possibly have stopped him? I guess maybe for this mission it takes them a whole turn to escape. So anybody that's by the exit, I just have to kill. <laughs> so there's two people by the exit that I need to kill next turn. Three people. I don't know if this is going to be possible. Yeah. Kind of feels like killing that one enemy officer shock trooper was a huge mistake. Like, if I hadn't killed him, would they not have triggered the, uh, <laughs> the retreat order and then I could have waited till another turn to set up some command points? You know, the drill. So, anyway, there's a whole bunch of them hanging out up here. Alright, we're gonna open with Nunchi. Yeah, I can do that. Sounds like a guy now. Never tell. Enemy spotted. You can't four of let them. them provoke you. Um, Their total number is unknown. Enemy sighted. Get ready. Now. So, where are they shooting from? What I'm thinking here. Now, they are. Oh, Fudge Molt the Edge. Now we could. Uh, we could try to kill one of them with the uh, bullets, but we've got one grenade. We've got one grenade ready. We might as well use die. It. It actually killed one right off the bat. Two. Oh, that's pretty good then. So the grenade was definitely the way to start. Did you see that? Good work, don't you? We killed. So, next up, the Lancer's gonna be difficult. Fudge Molt, we should be able to kill with bullets. Yeah, I can do that. It still takes four to kill. I don't know if we're gonna be able to pull this one off, because, um, 
If I move him closer, he'll be in range that the shock trooper will get counter fire. I can't run him up until this guy's dead. Oh, yes, yeah, so lucky. Four out of five. Did you see that? With, uh, I don't know what the odds would have been. Who are these guys? Perfect. And then the difference is with the Lancer now, we actually can move up. Ready for action. All right, this is looking pretty good, actually. Because this guy gets no counter, there's no one else. And he's fine. Hopefully this is not too close. We should be fine. Beautiful. No need to worry about misses that time. Did you see that? That was nice. Man down. That was Everybody nice. Be careful. I didn't think we could make it to the grass, so I kind of put it behind the barricade for some cover. Okay, next up, uh, we need to kill the tank, we need to kill the shock trooper here. What we're going to do then is use Jane. Start with a damage buff. Damage boost against tanks. This is an order! I'm going to try this. Burning them defense. means us surviving. Be merciless. You know, actually, this is dumb. This is gonna cost me three points to kill this tank. I could have spent two to move idle lights up and shoot it. So, Get ready to die, imps. So, you know, sometimes orders are the wrong decision and just using your tank is smart. But I mean, this is, this works quite well. It's just, uh, yeah, the tank would have actually saved us. Next. Man down, everybody be careful. I'm actually gonna use Jane in possible. Ready the mortars! Flamethrow this uh, shock trooper for one command point rather than uh, taking two. Points. Get ready to die, imps. I'm trying to be command point efficient. I could hit you from here! Sneak up on him. One shot, one kill. I have still never been successful using the AoE advantage of the flamethrower to hit multiple enemies. But, uh, it actually works. It's working. Okay. I thought Operation. we were about to lose the mission, but it turns out it wasn't that bad. And we get an A out of it. Thumbs up. Two thumbs up from the way to go. Also, we got some part for a tank. A VBFW. I have no idea. Looks like it might be a scope. Let's uh, finish up this report and uh, maybe put that part to our tanks, maybe. Ugh. Hey there, child. You live in this village, kid? Where's your family at? The Imperials who came to the village before. They killed my parents. They are pretty horrible. That's rough. Why do they all... Why do people hate us? Are they gonna keep hating us forever? Look, Rosie changed her mind, basically. I'll tell you something. My town got hit by a hunt, too. Really? A whole bunch of Darksons lived near me, see? And... They burned the whole place down. My mom... And little brother... Died in the fire. After that, I started hating Darksons too. Figured if it weren't for them, you know? She really blamed the people who burned the house down, not the victims. Come on, Rosie. But a good friend showed me I was all wrong. She was the first real Darkson friend I had. What's she like? How'd you become friends? She was real stubborn, but she was true. Kind and honest, and strong to the core. I still miss Zara too. But she and I were off fighting the Empire and she got killed. Oh. Building a world where Darksons and everybody else got along was always her big dream. I figure now it falls on me to make sure that happens. Do you know a way to get people not to hate us? If so, Please, please tell me. I wish I did, kiddo. All I know is how to get things done my own way. Wanna know my plan? When this war's over, I'm gonna be a singer. 
a singer? Yeah. Songs sound the same to folks of all kinds. The feelings behind them get through. She was listening when Zaka talked to that. Talked to her about that. I'll keep singing until her dream comes true. That's my way of making her world happen. You should figure out your own way, kiddo. How I'd change the world? That's a lot of responsibility for like a ten-year-old. Well, I gotta get going. Take care, kid. You too. Thank you very much. Let's just hope his idea isn't get a machine gun and kill all the Imperials. I mean, I approve, but it's not really <laughs> responsible. <laughs> Alright. You know, Rosie, she's doing okay, right? I like her side mission better than the Benji one. Because I thought that was a little bit silly. This is a bit more serious. Isara, I got something to report to you today. A while back, when we went to stop the hunts, I met a boy who'd lost his parents, right? Well, he sent me a letter. Said once I got to sing again, he'd come listen to me. I don't know if he'd be allowed in the bars. <laughs> Good taste for a little squirt, huh? And he says he wants to become a doctor. Says that's his way of changing the world. <laughs> well, he's, he's got a, a good positive mind there. I'm not promising miracles, but we'll try, bit by bit. You just watch. Take it easy, Asara. I'll come again soon. All right, well, that wasn't too bad. That was a, a fairly positive little report. All right, let's uh, save this here, and we, we will do our uh, little upgrade first. We should get uh, maybe a level up or two, and uh, mostly I want to see what that weapon part is. Or tank part. All well, so Idlewise, change parts. We was it not a tank part? It usually says new if there's something here. Is it the shamrock part? Alright, maybe it was uh, actual just the gun. I guess it was a shock trooper. Maybe it's got like a new uh, flamethrower or something. The weapon just looked unusual. I don't think I'd ever seen something like that before. Oh, sheesh, we've got two flamethrowers. I didn't even notice! I should have checked this way long time ago. Okay. That's like a super ultimate damage. Wow. Wow. Okay. Here I was thinking a 300 damage flamethrower was doing good. Imagine a 500 damage flamethrower. That'll kill anything. Well, any infantry that I've run across. Let's give it to Rosie and Jane, my two uh, go-to shock troopers. 380 is still a good upgrade, so... I don't see any downsides to this, so... Just a little bit more damage. Beautiful! Okay, well, I'm pretty happy with that. Let's do a quick train, and then we'll wrap the episode up. 62,000. Do you think I can get two more levels up out of that? Train up! Uh... Lancers plus... Snipers. There you go. Last time, the beginning of the episode, we did Scout Trooper. And we do Lancer Sniper. I'm not exactly trying to keep the Fight balance, the bullet! But, you know, just trying to maximize the number of levels up. Mission break. Good work! Still no new orders or anything else. Okay, I think that uh, wraps up for today. Next episode, we will have a look at our report here. Um, we've got a... Uh, Parting ways, yeah, we have to learn what's going on with Falvio or Falvio or Fabio or whatever. Because it's 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 highly suspicious. I, I I think it's fairly likely that he stole the Valkyria weapons, gave them to Alicia and shot her. Maybe not in that order exactly, but essentially that's the point. So we'll find out about that probably next episode. Thanks for watching folks, I hope you have enjoyed, and have a great day.